your mind. I'm trying to figure out, well, I'm gonna blow my mind. <clears throat> well, I already did blow my mind. So I've been trying to figure out why every once in a while, look at that, look at this. The chain tensioner doesn't do its job and push the chain tensioner up, right? That's what the chain tensioner, its job to do is to push it up so this doesn't happen, so you don't get that play. So really the spring on this is shot. So I was thinking if only you could hold the tensioner up. So I use one monster zip tie and one regular zip tie. And I'll show you what I do with those. All right, so in between, I'm in an in-between with the chain right now. All right, so I just took the 12 tooth out and went back to the 11 tooth. Put in a new spring and a new chain tensioner all together and it still does the same damn thing. If I roll it forward, right? So if I put the 12 tooth in, it still does a little bit of that, um, but not as bad. But if I take a link out, it's too tight. It'll be too tight for that, for an 1172. So if I wanna run the 1172 and not have uh, chain issues, then I gotta do the zip tie thing. That's just what it is. Even with the 12 tooth, I had to do it. It just, come on, that's ridiculous. Both ways, chain tension is not doing its job. I had the electro coat kit, electro in, had this one in, they both did the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, zip tie deal. I go down <clears throat> over, the, over the swing arm bar, under here, go down, and I'll come back up. But when I come up, I'm going through the chain tensioner and that spring, right? And I'm coming through that. Zip tying it. So now that we got the spring holding that zip tie, right? Away from the bearings and the chain tensioner. This is pretty close, see how it's close? What we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze it away. And if you put this little nub at a certain spot, you can use the nub so you, to where you can squeeze it at a different spot. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here first, around there, and we'll do it real slow. I'm actually gonna hold that bitch in place. So I did uh, what I said, the big zip tie, go down, come up. It kept slipping over this. So what I did, since it, uh, the spring wasn't holding it away from the bearings, I just used another zip inside of it along this stem and then another zip to squeeze them away from the chain. And aid on it if you want to, but listen to the difference now. quick show of it on the uh on the mx uh i had put a uh screw up there to hold the zip tie so it doesn't slide down because the rsf already has the screw there but uh it's been holding up pretty decent like i said the big one is just holding it up the tensioner up and the small one is up into that hole and it's squeezing it away from the chain and there's no rub at all doesn't hit. <clears throat> the last thing I'll say about this, I'll 
close up this video, man, because I've been this thing's been in the making for a little while. I use one more zip tie down here and go around it and then around where the spring connects on that screw here. And the reason why I do that is to keep it away from those. Bits. Try washers, try every damn thing to get this chain tensioner to work, brand new springs, everything, and I don't know what it is, man. It's just a pain in the fucking ass. It's funny how somebody noticed, somebody mentions it, and mine just really starts to take a shit on both of them. So uh, this is what I'm doing for now until somebody comes up with something better. Please, somebody do that to where we can just unscrew this and screw something fucking better into it, and it just be fucking gold. That's what we need, Electron Co. or somebody. Look at that.